look away from the train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. If you play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful day of checking these buttons. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Chapters down below as always. Sub button right there. All that good stuff. Let me be real. I wasn't planning on posting today. I was going to post tomorrow. Hell, I still might. Even though it's Father's Day, we'll see what happens, right? But because of that, we got some hot ass topics. Remember the story yesterday? This one, some of it leans into that. So we got to unpack it right now. And because it's Father's Day and because I'm close with the sponsor into the AM, we got a special message because we got deals that's never Never been done just for you guys stay tuned link down below all that good stuff but we got the good stuff coming up so chapters down below let's go let's go ladies and gentlemen we are back once again with the best deals as promised into the am y'all know i love this sponsor is back one more time look on the screen look on the screen right now and i want you to see these deals i want you to see the deals and the link down below definitely check it out and on top of that you could use my promo code for an additional 10% off. That's right. It is into the am.com forward slash button check. One more time. It is into the am.com forward slash button check for an additional 10% off. And for those that might be new to the channel and you're not too familiar with Into the AM, you might notice I'm pretty much always wearing their hat. They're actually a group of artists and creators that came together with a common vision and they treat clothing as a canvas to express what drives you ever since 2012. Ever since 2012, they've been doing premium apparel that elevates self-expression and provides unapparelled comfort for basically wherever your passion takes you. You saw the other day I was wearing their shorts, they got dress pants, and now we got the tees. And these tees, baby, they, they talking about summertime. Look at this, premium apparel. I got this one too. Check this out. This is the back. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And then you got the front right there. I got a new hat. You see this hat? Bam. I got a new one right there. So this one is more like the net design, but this one right here, check that out. Another snapback, but the front and the back and the quality, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So if we go back here, right, let's go ahead and choose some tees. Here we go. If we want this one right here, you can see it's marked down already. Look, $26.95 right now, $18.87. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy right here. So we're going to go, it should automatically put my code on there. If I'm going to do right there, 1887, I'm going to do XL right here, add it to the cart. Come on, let's go ahead and check out. As soon as I do that, it'll go there. Then it should go look 1887, 1887. Then we're going to go to checkout here. Okay. So right now it's uploading. There you go. Bam, divide, now down, what the button check, $16.99, that's what's up. So it should, once you follow the link, it should apply it automatically. So there you have it, Into the AM, definitely check these guys out, link down below. Big shout out to the Into the AM staff for always giving button check a chance, and of course the button check viewers for making this possible because it's only because of you guys that we get to do stuff like this. So thank you for the love, Into the AM, now let's get back to the show, let's go. All right, now into the first set of they don't care about you, buttons that need to be checked this is a big one right because it kind of leaks over from yesterday's yesterday was so hot look at the comments on yesterday's video there's so many people with so many takes and granted it was a major story you got the esports world cup a lot of people traveling wanting that money obviously but then a lot of people having a problem because it's coming directly from like the prince or the powers that be in saudi and they're thinking like they're an evil source, so how could we take this money or blood money for lack of a better term, right? So a lot of people split, like straight split right now on the FTC. Well, Jayuna made this post kind of around that thought, but from a different perspective, right? He's saying long post and might be too late for some, but with esports teams swarming the FTC right now, trying to pick up talent, I wanted to make a PSA. These teams don't care about you. They don't care about the FTC. They are scrambling to fill their rosters because the EWC has a $20 million prize pools for the top 16 teams with the most points across all games. This payout will go directly to the team owners and is much more attractive prize than the potential 300K for winning Street Fighter VI or Tekken. This is fine and is not, is not exclusive to the FTC. The teams are rushing to pick up players across small titles and a shot at the 20 million. They don't need the players to win. They just need them to finish top eight in order to gain the points. For a lot of you, this will be your first time sponsored and maybe your first time negotiating a contract. Don't let these teams take advantage of you. They need you 
and there is not a lot of time before the EWC. Technically, the deadline is 531 to add members, but I'm sure exceptions will be made. Don't accept anything without sharing and discussing with a third party, fellow FTC member, contract, lawyers, anyone you trust. Try to find what kind of offer or other sponsored players have and use it as a baseline. Don't get lowballed because you are misinformed. Number two, don't accept any temporary slash trial based sponsorships since the EWC uh, is the focus. Some teams may be trying to just pick up a player for the event and then dropping them after. Ask for a long term commitment, two years. Number three, find out what the team can do for you. While it's attractive to get a jersey, some money, and flown out for a couple of events, if that's all there is, then once the ride is over, you're back where you started. How can they help you grow your brand, market you, and more attractive as a player? They have resources and staff for this. Make sure they use some of them for you. Basically, just understand that you have value and don't be afraid to ask what you're worth. People without negotiating experience may hesitate for you or may hesitate to ask for more, but negotiate is a two-way street. Any professional is used to back and forth discussion when it comes to business. Anyway, good luck. It's a prosperous time to be an FGC player at the moment, but who knows? how long it'll last. And then he posts these screenshots right here. I guess this is for the club championships. You can see first prize, 7 million. Second, uh, 4 million. And then the split goes on, but it is all good money all the way around. Then club A, League of Legends, Mobile, what is that, F24, Counter-Strike, points from, and then there are the points right there that they need. So I don't know exactly how all that part works of it. I just know there's a shitload of money, if you know what I'm saying. But I know Sajam, actually adds to this as well, saying, yeah, there will be ton of free agent, a uh, ton of free agent post EWC, I'm sure. Hopefully people can get good money for their short deals or land something long-term if they're gonna negotiate well. Juna says, I think EWC is going, isn't going anywhere. Uh, so definitely a good time to push your case as a player for a long-term contract, just gotta ask. And I see Smash Die just tagging me in the story. So I appreciate the love, man. Then it kind of goes, you know, back and forth. Some people are like, you shouldn't take anything less than three years or excellent posts. Um, other two days ago, noticed that the orgs that are sponsoring FGC players. So it goes on. A lot of people know that this was happening, right? Um, Meta just got sponsored. I don't know if you guys saw that, but let me see if I could pull that up real quick. Meta was already sponsored. Uh, and he was, was, who, I can't believe I already forgot who Meta was sponsored with, but I'll put it on the screen as soon as I can find it. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about right here. I'll play this video in the background. So he was sponsored with Bandits. I can't believe I forgot that name. He's been sponsored with Bandits for a while. He still talks about how they're family and he'll always have their back. But now I believe he's sponsored with like the Falcons or something like that. So I don't know if it's something to where his contract just ran out and then, you know, Falcons came and offered him more money or if they just came right out and bought him out completely because let's be real, Mena's like the top. For the for the longest time, what, since the lifespan, even though it's not that long, but still, for the lifespan of Street Fighter VI, a lot of people were calling him the best Street Fighter VI player that there is. He's mad consistent. He's crazy, right? So he would be the one to get. So I, I, I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that whoever Team Falcons is swooped on in, no pun intended, but you know what I'm saying? They swooped on in and were like, yo, we're gonna pay your ass top dollar, be with us, and we wanna support you all the way to the EWC. Like I said, that's just an assumption. I don't know exactly how it went down, but it's good to see, cause you know it. Either way, however it went down, you know Men is getting top dollar for the sponsorship right now. You know he is, so it's good to see. It's good to see somebody from the FTC, especially from the Dominican Republic where he comes from, cause he's definitely holding down his family. Like I said, if anybody earned it, like came from the fucking mud, it's Mena, so big up. But like I was saying, there's these teams out there and they're coming for anybody, everybody I should say, that has the potential to make it or to win over there. And like Jayuna said, the Esports World Cup doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime soon. So if that's the case, you know, we kind of hinted at that in the last video, like this money's here and it looks like it's here to stay. You know what I'm saying? Especially with so many big names involved. Unless something drastic changes, it looks like they're here and what, they're trying to build like a fucking esports city over there? Remember that video? Like a whole fucking city with the next, what, 30, 40 years or something like that? Anyway, all I'm trying to say is if that's the case, more people are going to get sponsored and will that be a good thing or kind of, you know, fucking flip the FGC over on its head? Who knows? How y'all feeling? Let me know. And on that note, for these next set of buttons that need to be checked, we talking about the Esports World Cup 
qualifiers, because as you know, DreamHack is going on right now, DreamHack Summer, I believe in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. So everybody that's anybody that didn't qualify for Dallas is now over there in Sweden, right? And I think we already have our qualifiers because once again, top eight automatically qualifies Esports World Cup, right? Speak of the devil, they posted this just a few hours ago. Let's pull it up. Here we go, y'all. We got Kawanu Itabashi, we got Big Bird, we got Shao Hai, we got Rain Pro, we got Bon Chan. It's good to see that Bon Chan still doing the damn thing, right? Then we got Hikaru, if I'm saying his name correctly, I might be getting that wrong, but of course, Punk to the God is in there as well. So here is your top eight qualified for the Esports World Cup going after the millions of dollars. Let's go down below, see if there's any comments on this. Great top eight, um, what's the address? First time uh, top eight, all different characters. Oh, that's what's up, I didn't realize that. But there you go. So not really seeing much backlash, well, not at least on their website, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's gonna go a couple of ways. There's so many big names, basically every fucking buddy that's that's huge in Street Fighter, period, is competing for this. So like I said, I don't think it's gonna be one of those things where it's just gonna be so quick in the FTC, especially FTC Twitter, to cancel the Esports World Cup. If it's gonna happen, something drastic needs to happen. It ain't gonna happen this year though. No, this year is, is rocking and rolling, it's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen with the next one. But we'll see, like I said, is it good, is it bad? Y'all let me know. How you feeling? And there it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling one more time. I appreciate the massive love. Like I said, honest to God, I was not planning on posting it today. I was gonna save it for tomorrow, but now I'm thinking I might do today and tomorrow. So either way, thank you guys for the massive love. We will see you soon as always. I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. Oh, you can. And now for that moment of the FGC bliss, it's kind of not, it's not official, but here, this is all I wanted to say. Happy Father's Day, y'all, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna post tomorrow. I'm gonna try, I promise you, I'm gonna try. But if I don't, I just wanted to wish everybody out there a happy Father's Day, because I know this demographic here is like 98% men that watch this channel. So chances are, there's a lot of fathers out there, man. So hang with your kids, hang with your loved ones, man. Appreciate yourself, treat yourself today. You know what I'm saying? Happy Father's Day to all the real men out there. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna post tomorrow because I'm gonna have my kids with me by the time you're watching this and I don't have them a lot. So I have a total of four kids, right? I have the baby, Capri Marie, who's still with us, but the rest of the three are old enough to where they moved out. And they either moved out for college or a job. So yeah, we're down to the baby and sometimes it's lonely as shit, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? We got them all coming tomorrow. Well, by the time you watch this video and I'm excited. I'm excited, man. I'm gonna soak it up. We gonna eat, maybe watch a movie, go bowling, whatever. We gonna check some fatherhood buttons, man. So enjoy the day, y'all. Thank you so much. And also big shout out to the sponsor, Into the AM, y'all, right here. Trust me, check out their deals. If you wanna give me a Father's Day gift, check out their deals, man. Cause you can tell by the damn website, it's like 80% off or some crazy stuff like that right now. I myself am about to go on there and order some stuff. So thank you guys for the amazing love and support because it's only because of you guys that any of this exists in the first place and that people like Into the AM, like this sponsor, keep promoting us and keep sponsoring us because they see the love, man. So thank you so much. Y'all have a good Father's Day. Love y'all forever. Peace.